Oh, hi, Dave Heiner here with another Dave's Desk. Recently, Fliss Wingrove, multi-award winning PR or authority, kindly gave us an online session for my mastermind group. It was high impact, massive takeaway value, and here, with her permission, I'm gonna share just a couple of little things that she suggested that can help any of us get the right kind of PR that we deserve. I would say look to secure an article. Now, I know there's a few people here in, in the group that do that very successfully. Um, obviously, Al, because he's got a PR agency behind him, gets numerous articles and they work really well for him. Um, Sarah, I know that you've done a brilliant job. Uh, basically, every time Sarah sort of reaches out to one of her construction titles, they just cover what she has to say. So articles are working beautifully for her, too. Um, there are different kinds of articles, and I just wanted to cover three of those with you guys now. So um, there's not masses of jargon in PR, but when it comes to articles, this is kind of where there is a bit. So, so forward features, firstly, forward features um, are features that are scheduled in advance by a magazine or an, a, a title. Um, it goes back to the days when advertising was, um, was king. And, you know, take it that you've got a building magazine. You would say that in January, you're going to focus on roofs, on, in February, it's bathrooms, and uh, in March, you're going to be looking at flooring. So I know, if I'm a carpet manufacturer, that March is my issue. It's really useful from an editorial perspective as well, because they're going to have dedicated features that they're going to they're pencil in, which are focused around those specific topics. So I know that March is my, is my core issue. Now, we talk about it as a football six-pointer, because they will only have one hero title in terms of an article, so like a triple page spread. And if you have competition, if you're speaking on a subject or training on a subject and someone else is very media savvy, get, you get that secured and they don't, it's a double win. And I mean that nicely, it's, it's gentle competition, isn't it? But you really want to get that article. And the way that you would do that, you wouldn't send a press release, so this is my news that I want you to cover. You pick up the phone and you speak to the editor and you say, a good two or three months before the date of the publication. I can see you've got a feature on flooring in March. Love the magazine. Ideally, find out something about it. Love the magazine. Um, I'm doing some really innovative work on flooring, something next generation, something new, something exciting. Um, I'd love to prepare an article. I thought perhaps looking at the changing face of flooring, you know, is that something that would sit with your editorial schedule and plans? And you might have a little bit of backwards and forwards. But what you will secure in the end is, yes, write me three 3,000 words on this particular topic and get it to me by this date. You know that the article is appearing. It's unbelievably credible because when you get a triple page spread, people really sit up and, and, and take notice. Um, and, and it goes, you write it and it goes in exactly as you've written it. No one's going to slice and dice it and potentially misrepresent you. So it's much safer. So that's a forward feature. Um, the other two uh, ways in which you can secure an article, there's an opinion led or a bylined article. Now these are sent um, regardless of an editorial schedule. You don't have to wait for them to say that they're interested in your topic. Um, you just pitch that particular um, synopsis to them. Um, an opinion-led article is written in third person. Uh, we believe, we think, we recommend, and a bylined is written in first person. I believe, I think, I recommend. So taking Al as an example, within his clinic coaching business, he, he, we, write um, probably four or five of these a month um, to go out to international sort of aesthetics, cosmetic, medical titles, so globally. Um, they tend, most of them tend to be bylined to Al. Um, him personally giving advice to clinic owners about sales and marketing growth strategies. Occasionally it's third person. It's very much down to the title and what they prefer. Um, so again, this is about you flexing and making it a win-win-win for everybody. Because if you do, if you're really easy to work with, if you provide a top-notch article that actually gets them some really good traction with their readers, they will come back to you time and time again. And you, much like within the speaking world, you know, you'll get all that lovely repeat business. Every time they have something in your area of expertise, they will pick up the phone to you and it makes life so much easier. We rarely pitch Al now. The titles phone us and say, look, I'm looking at something about loyalty um, or lo loyalty initiatives. You know, could Alan pen something? To which we all just want, absolutely, he'd love to. And then send him the finished thing. Actually, sometimes we don't even send it to you. We just send it off without letting you know. Um, so in terms of those articles, um, bylined, opinion-led, and we've covered forward features as well. Um, 
the other two tactics within traditional media that I would love for you all to consider, particularly as the passionate, enthusiastic, eloquent and expert people that you are, interviews and profiles. So an interview is around a topic and a profile is around you. Um, it has to be of interest to the title. Think about what your niche area is. If you're speaking, what is that headline, your preferred headline speech? And is that really topic and timely? Um, Sarah, I hope you don't mind me using you as an example, but you're, it's such a beautiful example of timeliness. Your expertise around contracts at the moment anyway. But Sarah pivoted that from a media perspective and, and talked about contracts within COVID. So, you know, how COVID was impacting on that contractual relationship and how you could make that a win for both parties. Now, every magazine that she's pitched that to has bitten her hand off because it's so utterly timely right now. Interviews could be a great way because she can be talking. So it's not just a, um, a written sort of gentle narrative. It could almost be like a Q&A or it could be a, a bit of a topic or a you know, quote marks at the beginning and quote marks at the end. Quite a powerful way of getting your voice across. Um, and it's certainly something that I think all of you should be considering. So. So within traditional media, yes, use a press release if you have to, but recognize that it's the bluntest of blunt tools. It's putting a nail into the wall with a club hammer. Um, it will do the job, but there's slightly more sophisticated things that you can do. <laughs> Dave's rubbing his hands. Slightly more um, sophisticated ways of doing things. I told you. How good was that? Anyway, look forward to seeing you on another Dave's Desk. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. Then click the TV to watch the next video. Oh, and don't forget to visit our website at davidheiner.com to claim your free audiobook. Until the next time, go Rhino. Have in it.